Welcome to Search for Signs. My name is Gary Willing. If this information interests you, please press the like and subscribe button and press the bell for notifications. Have you ever gotten into a verbal argument with someone and they use this line in some way, shape, or form? I'm not the only one who says that about you, right? Maybe you've said it to somebody else. I'm sure I've said it from time to time, thinking that actually helped my argument. And we, we do it, I think... Because culturally, we believe that if you know, more than one person agree on something, then that makes it more true. And a lot of it, I think, stems from the fact that we live our life basically out of fear most of the time. We're afraid to stand on our own two feet, afraid to be our own person. And then when we see these rare individuals, such as Benjamin Krem or Jesus or... Um, Alice Bailey or Leonardo da Vinci or some of these other great souls out there that have lived through history, they seem a bit odd and very peculiar because they don't seek out that same kind of agreement. They're just kind of being who they are, right? And anyone who has advanced humanity on whatever level they're at, however small their field of influence is, if they're doing what they're they're supposed to be doing, they will appear odd to other people. And the more they advance humanity, the more peculiar they are, <laughs> you know. And the greater the resistance to their work is from the society as lo at large, right? I mean, just take Jesus. I mean, he advanced humanity better than pretty much anyone in history, right? And look at the resistance to his work, you know? I mean, obviously, what happened to him at the end, you know? I mean, it wasn't the end, but you know what I mean. Just the middle part of his story. But, um, you know, and it's the same thing with these masters. And these masters don't seek agreement. You know, they don't look to you for approval on anything. And so they might come across being a, a bit odd, a bit peculiar. Maitreya, I know, has a certain je ne sais quoi quality about him. And by that, I mean, he, he embodies the, the love aspect of God. So he might not be quite as peculiar to a, the most people, you know, but I'm sure some of these masters who, you know, they all, you know, you know, they all have the Christ principle in their heart, but, you know, they, they might appear rather strange, you know, and their information might, you know, you might not be able to understand what they're talking about. Right. Like, for instance, you know, I mean, I mean, you can talk about the Bible, you know, I mean, there's a lot of things in the Bible that from the master's point of view never happened that people base their whole life off of, you know, and it, when people start to come to the realization that what they believed isn't true, it might be hard for harder for some than others to let go of that. And it, it kind of has been like that over the last, you know, few hundred years, you know, now that science is becoming more mainstream, you know, it's proved a lot of theories about evolution or our physical bodies or something like that. And it's helped to dispel to some degree the superstition that a lot of these religious um, minds had hundreds of years ago. Now, of course, then there's those certain select idiots out there that still believe the world is flat. <laughs> But, you know, contrary to all science and photographs to the, you know, to the contrary, they still think the world is flat, but you can't help everybody, you know? I mean, so just let them believe whatever they want to believe, I guess. I don't know. And it'll be the same thing about a lot of things. You know, I think as, as a lot of these uh, ideas about, especially about the masters, for instance, become more mainstream knowledge and more common, the more that these masters will probably start to, to share their information that they have. You know, I mean, for instance, you know, there's a lot of myths that we believe to be true and have believed since the dawn of time to be true. You know, and for example, you know, Benjamin Krem was talking about the sun, that even though scientists and astronomers and everybody would agree that the sun is hot, 
according to the Space Brothers, the sun is actually very cold. And you would go, well, that doesn't make a lot of sense. You know, you just walk out in the, in the desert and, of course, you feel the heat from the sun or whatever. But what they say it is, it's the combination of the ultraviolet radiation of the sun and the electromagnetic radiation of a planet, per se. And it's that, I guess that's that friction between those two energies that generates the heat. And it kind of made sense when Ben said it. You know, he was like, well, if if the closer you get to the sun, obviously the hotter it's going to get, right? Well, then that would make the top of Mount Everest be the hottest part. Of, it should be the hottest place on Earth, and it's one of the coldest. Because the electromagnetic radiation of the planet, I guess, isn't as strong up on there. You know, and that's what, you know, anyway, you can believe what you want to believe, but, you know, the 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 truth will come out about it eventually. And, but it also stands to reason that, you know, like with scientists, for instance, looking at our planet, right, they say that it's a precarious place that our planet is around the sun. And if it was any closer, it'd be too hot to have life. It was, if it was just a little bit farther back, you know, it'd be too cold, right? It's just right where it is. And that's true to a degree, right? But if what the Space Brothers are saying is true, it's really a combination of the two energies, the electromagnetic energy of the planet and the ultraviolet radiation of the sun, then a planet theoretically could be anywhere in our solar system and be warm enough to generate light, I mean, generate life based on the amount of electromagnetic radiation of a planet. And I know scientists, and astro- or I guess it was astronomers, discovered not too long ago that the planet Uranus actually generates more electromagnetic radiation than it receives ultraviolet radiation from the sun. So anyway, something to think about. But whether you believe it or not is, of course, up to you. And I'm not trying to seek your agreement with it either. But, you know, when it comes to these masters, you know, I knew Ben personally. I knew his Benjamin Krem personally. And I, 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 got to know how sincere he was over the years because somebody who dedicates their life to this work as hard as he did moment to moment he had to have been you know he had to have been sincere about it he had to have had you know he had experiences and his experiences had to be real for him to be able to do what he did you know i mean just when he started his work with his master you know i mean it he spent 20 something hours a day working with his master trying to create this bridge in this relationship between he and his master but it started with a thought in his head and he didn't know whether himself didn't know whether it was a figment of his imagination or not he needed proof you know so he demanded proof politely i'm sure and his master sent a picture of himself through the mail and i don't know about you but i've never known a figment of my imagination to send anything through the mail you know so but it lent it to, you know, and all of his experiences and, and even like putting it on my, you know, uh, my perspective, you know, just the few experiences that I've had with Maitreya and the Master Jesus and the Space Brothers is what's leading me to talk and speak out about this because I think there is something to this. But people like Benjamin Krem, you know, they appear odd to a lot of people who don't know anything about this. You know, and they lash out, you know, and they say all sorts of cruel things about Benjamin Cram or whatever, right? And it didn't bother him, you know, and I'm sure the more you listen to these videos, I might appear a bit odd to you too, you know, and I don't, you know, I'm not seeking anybody's agreement by these videos, you know. So when you see these masters, or well, let me go back, you know, just because the world at large does not agree in quotation marks that the masters exist or that... Uh, they agree that Maitreya, who is who Benjamin Cram and I and other people think that he is, it doesn't mean it's not true. Is that right? <laughs> I think I put two negatives in there, right? It, it, it doesn't, you know, they don't need the world to agree for them to know that what they're, what they're saying is true. And, you know, that's, I guess that's maybe a better way of saying it. People like Alice Bailey and Benjamin Cram. So, of course, they appear odd to people. They might appear, you know, people use the word, you know, bonkers, right? And I don't necessarily subscribe to Donald Trump's political philosophies and things and his ways of dealing with the media, but there is a lot of truth to what he says, you know, that 
you know, about fake news. I don't like that term. I think that term is like name calling kind of, but you know, the media doesn't report on exactly what they see. They report a lot of their opinion and we take it as fact just because it's printed up somewhere in a newspaper or set on TV or whatever like that. But as these masters become more known, you know, for lack of a better word, people will start to agree that what, you know, these ma- who these masters are, right? Which will then start to make ideas and, and truths like such as reincarnation become more real in the minds of humanity. And the idea of life on other planets to become more real. And that's, I think, more how the transformation of the hearts and minds of, of everyone on the planet will take place, you know? It's not, I mean, it will be dramatic for some, and it might go really quickly. You know, I don't know. You know, it, I, life has shown me over this 47 years that I've lived that we as a people do not move very fast. So it might be fast. It might not. <laughs> you know, I, I, I have no clue. We'll wait and see, right? But being in the presence of these masters, receiving their information directly when we do, you know, whether it's on TV or in person or, you know, at a, you know, at an event or something like that where you might hear them speak to the public, you know, or whatever, or if you're lucky enough to, to, you know, to see them in a, in a room or, I don't know, or, you know, they're not going to be at the mall, but you know what I mean? And you talk to them, then, you know, you, you can't help but be changed by their wisdom because they, these masters, like A, know nothing about, nothing but love and B, they have the, the wisdom of the ages at their fingertips. But to a lot of people, it will appear odd, right? And the people who are helping these masters, the disciples in the world that, that will be helping these masters with their work and, and so forth, will appear strange. You know, just like Benjamin Krem, right? But with a lot of these peculiar, odd folks that helped aid humanity, people thought they were wrong at the time, and history proved them right. Other ones were wrong, and they, they, they're, we still think they're wrong. <laughs> you know, I, I, don't, I don't know what to say about it. You know, but you know, it, it'll be interesting to see the changes that happen in the world based on our, the, the more we start to kind of come together as a people, the more we start to realize that, hey, you know what? There is life on other planets, and hey, there is life above the solid, liquid, and physical plane, and Oh my gosh, there's, there is, there are beings that are here to help us that have know nothing but love and, and they used to be just like us and I want to be more like them and stuff like that. And that's why I think it's going to whole start. But, and as always, take action. Help SOP save our planet. Thanks for listening and we look forward to talking to you again in future videos. Have a great day.